I'm Eugene with Diacon. This is a quick video to demonstrate the setup of the MS-130 weather station, which is a basic sensor complement for the Diacon weather stations. The basic weather station comes in this box. To do the assembly, we'll be using a Phillips screwdriver, a five, this is a number two Phillips screwdriver, a 5 16 or 8 millimeter socket, and uh, some wire cutters. Uh, I'm going to be cheating today and using a, a power driver with a, a number two bit and an eight millimeter socket. Unboxing the weather station, we have a main sensor box here and uh, then the mounting bracket, the crossover and solar panel mounting bracket. Uh, these need to be mounted together. Um, they can be mounted separately on the pole or using the same cable ties, cable clamps, they can be mounted together on the pole. The mounting brackets, uh, if tied together, will slip over. We're using a Diacon tripod, but you can use any mass. This is an inch and a quarter pipe, and this, uh, with this in place, fasten the cable clamps, and the crossover is done. Okay, so we can now put the crossover pipe. This is typically not supplied with the basic kits without the tripod. This is a one inch pipe with a 35 degree angle cut on the end. This is approximately three feet long. It serves to put the temperature sensor away from the mass of the tripod or mounting system in the weather station. So that just slips into the crossover. And then we use our socket to tighten up the band clamps. And stick a, a one inch pipe tee on the end to help pull the air out of the weather station and away from the sensor. Opening the sensor box. We have our temp pressure humidity sensor. The cable is just wrapped around the body of the radiation shield. The temp pressure humidity sensor just slips onto the end of the pipe and I tighten up the band clamp. And run our cable over. The next sensor in the box is the wind sensor. It has a 20 foot cable attached to it. In the bottom of the box, is the vein. The vein attaches so that it goes in on the side with the set screw. A number two Phillips driver is used to remove the screw that secures the counterweight and the stem. Align the holes. Tighten the screw. The wind sensor is designed to fit over a three quarter inch pipe or to fit inside of a standard one inch structural pipe fitting. This hole here engages with the quick release button on the Diacon tripods, and we provide a, a screw there as a set screw in uh, cases where it's attached to a three quarter inch mast. When using the Diacon tripod, the wind sensor slips over the top mast and locks into place with a quick release button. Tighten up the screw and attach the cable tie. Since this is gonna go up high, I'll also trim off the excess. Next in the box, is a solar panel. The bracket on the solar panel has a small tab. That tab fits into the slot in the pole bracket. A clevis pin is stored here and can be used to secure the solar panel. 
I usually put the solar panel power cable up over the top of the pin, inside the bracket, insert the clevis pin, and the safety pin cutter pin. Next in the box is the control module. The control module is the device into which all of the sensors are connected. It has mounting brackets on the back with the band clamps pre-installed, two screws on the front to access the instrumentation. By opening up the band clamps all of the way, the control module will slip over the mast. and secured in place. Opening the control module with a number two screwdriver, and now gain access to the insides. We have a slot and screwdriver here attached to the battery, which will be used to attach the cables. We also have a wiring chart over on the side to aid in uh, color code insertion of the wires. For ease in working on the system, the battery can simply be removed and placed on top. Each cable is passed through one of the cable glands on the bottom. A slotted driver is used to secure the wires into the pluggable screw clamp terminal blocks. Orange, or red, orange, brown, black, and then the shield ground is the wire order as shown on the diagram. Red, orange, brown, black, and then the shield or ground drain wire. With the sensors now wired, we're ready to power the control module. We'll insert the battery first. Plug it into the battery terminal on top and plug in the solar charge controller. With the system powered, it'll come up to the home screen. The cell phone will automatically register. On the home screen, we can see that the device is operating on its home network, signal strength of 29. The clock is pulled from the cell phone network. The cell phone status right now is idle and zero text messages have been received. As we page down through this device we can check the operation. The first screen is shows the miles per hour and the and the wind direction. The next screen shows two minute and ten minute averages. The next screen is temperature and dew point and humidity and barometric pressure. There's no analog installed, no rain gauge installed. The battery right now is charging at 15.12 volts with the solar panel input at 20 volts. The charge mode is fast. And we see the serial number and firmware versions of the control module, the air sensor, which is temp pressure, humidity, and the wind sensor. One of the tasks that needs to be done on this device is set the north position. This is done by entering the select or the configuration mode by pressing select, paging down to the wind direction, pressing select to enter that, and now we have, we're in the north or the set north menu. Setting north can be done by holding the vane in the north orientation, so using a compass or some other means sight uh, target orient the vein in that direction, press select, 
and you've set north. So if we go back here as I hold the wind vane, we can see that um, the north is now, instead of 100 and some degrees, it is now 1.2 degrees, or near that, as I move it a little bit with my hand. Diacon weather stations are shipped pre-configured according to the customer's specifications and location. We set the weather underground station ID, the altitude, and any other parameters that are required by the user. This simplifies the setup for the user. Some minor setup is required such as setting north. Any other parameters can easily be changed using the menu on the control module using uh, text message commands or a USB utility running on a PC that simply plugs into the port on the main control module. With the system now fully configured and operating, we've checked the operation on the LCD, we can push the cables into the side and uh, screw the thing closed. Next step will be to add cable ties and strain relief to, to uh, all of the cables. We also need to, in this case we're using a Diacon tripod and the mast would need to be elevated to its full position. Thank you for watching this video on the configuration of the MS-130 weather station. This is a basic sensor complement of all of the pre-configured weather stations from Diacon. If you have any questions, please give us a call or send us an email using the information on our website.